Hello and welcome to my house in Minecraft. This video is being made because after seeing that Minecraft Top 5 Creations is doing another MTV Cribs episode, and realizing that I was just a few days too late to submit my entry, I decided to at least show you guys my house in Minecraft. Because I thought that after putting so much work and effort into making the house, I should at, le I should at least get some people to see it. A link for the download will be in the description. Thank you for watching. Alright, so let's begin by the main entry. I didn't put um, take the time to make this a full staircase. Alright, so we have redstone, lighting for the floors, and entry. Now here's the coat closet where you just drop off everything. You drop off like your coats and stuff. And there's all the stuff that you don't need on you while in the house. This is just a little entry room, you know, where you can sit and look at the view. Alright, now let's go here. Let me just note that every single door in this house um, is automatic, so you never have to open it yourself. Um, now let's be in my home theater. Just wa watch the TV and not that much to watch, just the painting. Alright, now let's go up here. This is my pool. And it is at the old top world height, so let's just skip to the top. Beds instead of pool chairs, umbrellas made out of that, and the biome switched to snow biome, so now we have this ice here. Well, what are you going to do? It's a, it's a pool. I just need to fix the um, ice and put a roof over it at 252 block height. That way you won't be noticeable and the ice will not, um, and ice will not be created. Either way, that's my pool. Only problem, takes forever to get up, takes forever to get down. Could probably add in a piston thing to get up, but I don't really want to. And you can't even fly to get down because of the ladder. And you can't fly downwards on a ladder in a one by one block area. Alright, now let's go to the kitchen. And this is the just the kitchen area. We have the main kitchen area and then the walk-in uh, the walk-in refrigerator with all the supplies of stuff you need to um, do your cooking and a safe room because I thought the refrigerator walk-in refrigerator would probably be a safe place to put the safe room plus this isn't like a main safe room this is the fridge's safe room in which we have golden apples and random stuff that I decided to throw in and made a little obsidian question mark just to make it look seem mysterious and everything. Alright. Now. For um, the walk-in oven. We have the. Every single furnace is filled with a lava bucket. Each and every one of them. I can show you. Chest with lava bucket. Chest with flint and steels. And chest with coals. Lava. Dragon egg. You get the gist of it. And of course you know. Lighting. Alright, and here's the secret about this room. Not each room has a secret, but most of them do. Don't know why I'm taking damage, but I am. Who cares? This room is supposed to be a safe room with a combination lock. Haven't gotten around to doing that yet, but I will eventually. It's not 100% finished, but it's pretty finished. Alright. And yes, I am locked out, so now I just need to make a small hole in the ceiling. And let's change to creative mode. Well, out of creative mode. I'm using single player commands to take off fall damage, in case you're wondering. Go down the hallway, and... Um, it's really scary going down this hallway, because you hear a burning sound, but... You guys don't hear it, so it doesn't even matter. And the dining room. This took quite a while to make, because this house was made 100% without using MC Edit. So, you know, tables for regular people, just sitting and eating join yourself and then the VIP tables won't work unless you press the button just showing you that you can use those for actual doors and we still have the pressure plate so you can get in with get out without pressing anything and yes in this house we walk on tables alright now we'll just speed through getting out and show you the master bedroom which is also the only bedroom if it'll let us out and fly to the master bedroom, and 
and stop. Alright, up the staircase to the bedroom. And yes, I understand. If you're coming home tired and everything, it would suck having to walk all the way here. But, what are you gonna do? That's why you put in piston stuff so you can get there automatically. Screw trying to sleep. And then this would be the main safe room, which is also not finished. Obviously, nothing interesting. Just if anyone stumbles in it accidentally, so they'll know there's nothing interesting down there. The TV, that's what the black thing's supposed to um, resemble. Now let's just fly over to back to the main entrance so I can show you what else I have going in this house. Well, not really in the house anymore, but on my property. Because this entire world is my property. Alright, so the little train station we have going on. Let's just get ourselves a minecart. Um, where are those minecarts? There we go, a minecart. A few of them, because you know, they don't break, but still, who cares. To our um, crafting workbench area place thingy. Don't knock us back, pig. Don't knock it. Thank you, pig. Alright, let's start by going to crafting. I'll show you alchemy in a second. Hit the big red button. It isn't big, but someone should make a texture pack, so it will be. Uh, well, it isn't red, I mean. Regular crafting tables, you know, for people who are just crafting regular stuff. And private crafting tables for people who are crafting questionable stuff. Or if you want to craft for a long time and it also comes with a chest. Three of them exactly the same, except different placements of the chest, because I had to. Hacked on furnaces, so they autumn always give out light. And by hacked, I mean using single player, using too many items. And pumpkins at the bottom. Pretty simple. Not that hard to make. Also, all of them were filled with lava buckets on one side, and on the other side, they were all filled with... Um... Coal. Sadly, if we want to go to um, alchemy, we have to go all the way back and do a little loop, but luckily it's not too far, so it's not that bad. Flip the lever, go to alchemy, press the big red button. I will get a texture pack that makes the buttons red, because I think it would be awesome. Alright. These are the potion making rooms where you make potions more put more a thousand brewing stands not actually a thousand but many brewing stands you know you just stand in there brew just put some golden apples in there can't actually put a pool golden apples in there kinda sucks infinite water source for filling um your potion thingies and of course enchanting rooms three enchanting rooms to be exact and you're saving on bookshelves because each um Enchanting room saves a, is sharing a wall of bookshelves, and yes, it still works to give you level 50 enchantments. Those that were the the other things, and here's the storage room, showing you what's in each chest. You'll have to pause the video in, in order to actually see what's in there. And back to home to show you the office. Well... A little bit tedious having to go back and forth constantly, but much faster than walking. A bit slower than flying, but you know, you can just go AFK. This is a kind of long journey because the office was, I made the office really far away. Alright, let's just um, so go to the office, and I'm probably not going to cut this out because I want to show you the nice aesthetic view that you get while going through this huge place this huge in minecart ride not too too far but pretty far and in case you're wondering it's made out of end stone probably didn't care we fly over an NPC village this wasn't done on purpose I just um, found it randomly and I was there as you can see by the lava and in a second we will experience a huge lava a huge Lag spike in three, two, one. And let me just take this opportunity to tell you this was pre recorded. Then that's how I know about the lag spike. And it should end in five, four, three, two, one.
Got that perfectly. And yes, there's like 10 other minecarts here, which you can see they're starting to fall apart. Let's just get rid of them. And you, we don't like you. Alright, let's see the rest of the office. Now, there's a lot of lava here and everything because it's really not easy to light up a huge room like this. So you had to add multiple lava features. I did a quite a good job for the amount, for, you know, how hard it was. I know that, um, what the light thingies, redstone lamps give off more light. I, this was made before those. That just my amazingly awesome pathway. Took me forever to make because of the tiny hitboxes. And this is my actual office where I work. Well, it would have worked if my, if this was online. Um, alright. And if you even needed to work in Minecraft, which you didn't. So this is the receptionist's office. They will they would be sitting there. The snacks for when they get hungry, files, and the um sound alarm, even though the buttons aren't silent. But big red buttons right there. And seats for the people for waiting rooms. Picture wall, you know, if you're too bored you can look at the pretty pictures. And let's turn it to daytime and look at the amazing view. Again, all part of waiting experience. Now our, the wait is over. Let's go to the main office. All right, we got the lapis lazuli floor, the laptop that I was experimenting with and forgot to take away. Pretty simple. It looks a little bit like a laptop. I don't know. Chairs, as you see, I used a variety of different chairs here. Not the chairs I used for the rest of the house, and the big chair for the for. Where the where I would sit, also the garbage can and the music displays, and that's pretty much it for my um house in Minecraft. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Bye.